Well, I think we might be live, maybe, perhaps. I'm just waiting for the YouTubes to come to life, and I think maybe we're there. Let's take a look and see here. Turn the volume down. Hey, there we are. Hey, everybody. I'm waving at you. I got a new neck thing for uh, my GoPro, so hopefully this is going to work well. And you can see what I'm doing and <clears throat> not just the back of my hand. So <laughs> it's up higher on my neck, and uh, I'm trying to keep my beard tucked in, too, so I don't... Uh, I could, I suppose I could give you a little curtain there if you wanted, you know. <laughs> no. Okay. Got that going there. And, all right. I'm going to bring this up so that I can watch the comments. Uh, as I'm not working, I'll come back over and check the comments. We are continuing on with the bears today. We're going to do a little painting. I've got the noses already browned kind of a light tan brown so I got that base coat on uh, a couple of hours ago and we're getting ready to uh, start hitting it with the black here we're gonna take the black so we're gonna do that today it also give me a chance to uh, test out this new uh, camera and walking back over and checking the uh, the view here there's like a 20 second delay on YouTube so I can kind of see that, yeah, you guys can see what uh, what's going on there, so, all right. <clears throat> Man, these things, I bought one of the lowest pop-up tents I think you can get, so I wound up putting some pool noodles on there. You'll notice underneath here I've got pool noodles. That is to keep water from pooling, because what winds up crushing your 10 by 10s in storms is the rain that collects. You put pool noodles in there, it makes it go away, so. You're wondering, that's why. <laughs> All right, let's start on this little fella right here. What do you say? And I need to get my handy dandy deflector here. Deflector shields on. Okay. So we're going to start right there. Oh, man. I got to come back through. No biggie. Not a problem. We can fix that. It's the way it goes. First your money, then your clothes. Yeah, we'll fix that. One thing I did earlier today is I put uh, screw holes in and I countersinked. It's going to be for these uh, timber locks here. I've got some short ones and some long ones. Timber locks are awesome with chainsaw carvings. They really are. What a smell.
I'm gonna have to do several coats of this too. But I figured I'd go ahead and get the first coat on here. That's what I should have done coming from that direction, maybe. Kind of gives you the idea what it's going to look like. I'll come back through with uh, some more tan for that here pretty soon. Okay. Some of these areas with the knots, it's going to soak it right in. We'll, we'll have to do several coats there. Got any comments going here? Greetings, Zod Seeker. Zod Seeker. Zeod, Zeodes Eker. Zod Seeker. Where's everybody watching from today? As I, uh, from time to time, I'll go back in there and uh, check the comments and stuff like that. Obviously, while I'm spraying spray paint, I can't really watch them, but you get the idea. If I start talking loopy, loopy it's just the uh, <laughs> spray paint, probably. Uh, just kidding. Once this dries, I'll take them off of the uh, two by fours, take them into the finish room, and lay them down on their backs. Once I've got several coats on, and I'll get the uh, the tree side of it. This is the side, the tree side here. It's going to be up against the tree. Oh. Man, that is some stout stuff right there. up doing is I'll use some painters tape tape around it once this is good and dry and clean that back up with it that's what I'll do I overspray is bad with this thing around the nose area. It's gonna soak it up like a sponge, so even though I'm spraying heavy, it's gonna soak right in there. 
That should give us a pretty good idea though. Yeah. Oh! Try not to trip over that stuff, man. Size 14 feet, what are you gonna do, you know? It happens quite a bit. Yeah. Wind's blowing too. That's not helpful either. Now what you wouldn't want to do here is you would not want to put like a spar urethane or anything like that over the top of it really because all wood carvings crack. I always tell folks they're guaranteed to crack or your money back. Um, so I really wouldn't want to put a urethane over it. Uh, you're better off just putting the paint on and then uh, once it cracks later on, come back through and, uh, and give it a little touch up in the cracks. Uh, as far as urethane acts like, uh, like a hard shell on, on ice cream, you know, and when you crack it, rainwater and stuff like that can get in underneath it. It'll turn it milky, mildewy looking, and the only way to really fix it is to strip your piece and when you have chainsaw carvings like this that can be a pain so normally uh what i do is i just oil pieces but the customer wanted this painted so so it gets paint all right and we'll clean uh okay i think now I'm missing some stuff. I'll probably catch it when I take this off and flip them over. Uh huh. Right there. There you are. Man, the wind. Okay. I just looked up at the monitor. I'm sorry about the beard, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to get something to tuck it in, I guess. You're going to think I'm uh, walking around with cobwebs on or something. <laughs> it ain't cobwebs. It's the old man's beard. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. Uh, there. All right. First coat of blacks down. Whew. Man. Whew. Keep that warm. I'm going to go get another can in the finish room here. I've got mama right here. What I'm gonna wind up doing, let me uh, turn the light on here. Mama is gonna be sitting on the edge. And so what I'm gonna do, I think, get my beard out of the way again. I'm gonna have her perched right up on the edge of the log gonna have the claws which are kind of sticking over and I've got about nine inches on top of that log and then I got like a 16 inch dead hole where, where it's just empty space so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna carve kind of a rectangle at the bottom so that we have a nice solid piece for it to attach to the inside of the hollow on top and then just have a shelf where he can sit it on there and the claws will be there but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this right here and then rotate it around, do a glue up. That way she's, uh, I'll have the piece, the wood itself angled to where I can carve it like she's looking over, uh, looking down on them. So that's, uh, that is coming. 
If I can get to that today, I will. If not, definitely uh, we'll work on that tomorrow. I was really wanting to get some more uh, Christmas pieces and stuff done, but uh, this commission is uh, uh, takes all priority. You know, my commissions come first. Um, and, yeah, so there we go. We got a little paint down on them. I'm going to clean that back up here in a bit. Actually, I've got... I might be able to just come right over the top with this stuff here. This is what I'm using for the uh, for the nose, I like the tan on it. A little heat on the can there, and I got a piece of card. That cardboard's right over there. Yeah. Got to be careful here. Okay. Let's just do it like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to come back through. I can actually take my airbrush and kind of clean up with the uh, black airbrush. That's what I'll do on the legs and whatnot. Because it's I'm getting that overspray again there. Yeah. get this done I'm gonna break out the uh, airbrush and we'll wheel it over here and first I gotta okay. yeah we're definitely gonna have to do that that's the way it goes like this it'll dry really quick and then I can come over the top of that with the uh, black airbrush good solid coat I'll do it nice uh, real nice there okay and then once the uh, once I get the nose dry I'll tape it up that way when I come back and do my recoats of black, I won't be messing with it again. And then I'm going to come in and do black in the uh, mouth and the nose and all that anyway with the airbrush. So I got to get it out anyway and do that. So we'll go ahead and clean all that up here. Let me go get that and we'll roll the airbrush around. Any comments? Hello from Lake Ozark, Missouri there, that Zode Seeker is from. Another fine day here in Central City, Arkansas, where we've got like a balmy 48 degrees happening. Traffic flying by outside. Our dot says we get about $17,000, $17,000, boy, that'd be nice. 17,000 cars a day through here, um, but uh, yeah. So hopefully, once we get up and running here, we'll get some good business going. All right, let me go get the airbrush. The only 
thing that would make this cart perfect is I had if I uh, <clears throat> had a combination uh, beverage cart here, you know. Anyway. Gotta get the cobwebs out of the way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the beard. Okay. Got my black right there. Should be good and clean. Shake it up here. I keep these toothpicks in here to keep them uh, keep paint from drying in the air hole because that'll sure shut you down real quick. This is just a cheap uh, master airbrush airbrush kit. I don't particularly care for it, but it's what I have. One of these days I'm going to get me a a good kit. These things are not very well made. Okay. All right, let's see if we can clean that up now. Yeah, buddy. Looky there. Like it was never even there. One good thing about black, it kind of color matching black is not hard. <laughs> uh oh, I'm getting stuck. Usually, when you start having flow problems, it's right there other things it could be but that's the first thing to work on put a little water on a towel run run that needle through it work it back and forth hit it with some air if you got any clods that have formed in there and get it out that way yep See the uneven flow? Real bad with Master Airbrush. Oh, I hate this thing. Man. There we 
girl. <laughs> I just thought that might have made you really dizzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta take it a little easier there. Nicky, they are all better, huh? Yeah. Yeah, all better. Come back and check the uh, camera. Make sure you guys can see good here. Oh, that's gummit. It's tilted down too far. Sorry about that. Let's try it now. All right, let's see. How can you see here? You seeing okay there? All right. I thought for sure we had the right angle on the camera there. And I'm just waiting on YouTube to catch up here. I'm about to find out whether or not that works. Yeah, yeah, that's better there. Okay. That's what we will do. I'll keep my beard tucked in. It's the little things that really make a difference, you know? Like having nose, <laughs> not having overspray, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, I gotta watch my chin. I think I might be bumping it down a little. Little by little, we're gonna learn how to do this and do it right. Okay, now let's clean this bad boy up here.
So if you got overspray and you got an airbrush kit, no big deal, man. You can clean it right up. See there? Clean this out and we're going to do the mouth lines now. Hope you guys are having a good day ready for christmas hope santa claus is good to you this year and i hope we all remember the reason for the season okay now I'll try to very carefully get in here When you have fresh paint or flat surface, you can get that spattering real bad. Normally I'd come out, but if I come out, I'm gonna get a wider pattern. I don't want a wider pattern, so what I'm gonna have to do is just take it real slow, go over a little bit, let it dry, and then come back like that. That's going to be a little more problematic right there. <laughs> Whoops. Remember, it's going to be on the side of a tree outside. We just want the idea. We want the accents. Um, but yeah, I think that'll work right there. like that it works for me and now for this little bad boy right here clean that up a little if I back it off a little bit it can look like the black fur is changing into the muzzle kind of give it a little gradient you know now we're going to get in here and do the mouth. Hope you can see.
you can't see I'm sorry this is uh, I got like one position I can put my hands in right now <laughs> so I'll back up and show it to you here in just a second here got to get underneath here because if it's up high on the tree you're going to be able to see there we go that I think I'm just gonna do the uh, nose first and then decide if I want to do the black stripe down it yeah oh yeah we got to clean it out again checking comments None. If you're just joining in, be sure and tell me where you're uh, watching from so I can say hello. You're watching uh, live from Central City, Arkansas at the wonderful world of Jungle Jerry's Chainsaw Carving. There we go, that's better. I need to keep that air running, but okay. Yeah, looks like I'm the only one watching right now. That's all right. People got to work, and so do I. Nostrils are problematic. You think you got it, but they do a 360 degrees, so you got to make sure you got it all the way there. Well, after I do that, what I like to do is, is start up high on my nose. That gives me uh, an idea of where I need to go next. Like that. There. come to the other side over there I know where I got to meet up at so like right here I know that I start back in and then I work my way back to where I started on that one and especially if I had a decent airbrush flow We'll get it.
What do you think? Should I come on in like I did over here with this one? Or just let it go? I've got a reference in here that I can show you. Get my beard out of the way. Duck on. All right, I'm going to have to give me a rubber band for this stupid thing I got. See right here? Real bear. Really, you only have a little bit of that tan, don't you? Yeah. Huh. Oh my gosh, you know what? I never did share this thing. <laughs> I'm going to share it real quick. I'm sure uh, YouTube is only going to give me another 20 minutes or so. Uh, I do have my backup battery hooked into the GoPro. So, I got that. All right. And I got to copy that and go to Facebook this away. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Paste. And we've shared it all around now. It might be. My beard being in the way, that might be a problem too. All right. Yeah, I think. I think I'm gonna just kind of fade it that there yeah like that this is going to be the most unlikely spot viewed unless they have it low on the tree they're going to have the flexibility they want with it obviously but since i'm not carving it in position on a tree Yeah. Oh, this thing. If any of you guys uh, know anybody with Iowa to tell them to give me a call. <laughs> we'll talk about collaborations. <laughs> better. I've been watching some airbrush videos. Uh, this one kid, he uses badgers, and, and they seem to be pretty good for his t-shirt business. I've been airbrushing my own shirts uh, after watching those. And 